Hey there, while I make a coffee, let me explain what this video is about. We will learn how to set realistic and achievable goals that you will actually feel happy and comfortable with, while at the same time putting myself and my goals as an example. With the new year coming up, we try to set up goals that usually tend to be unrealistic or just too big to achieve, and what ends up happening is we drop them, we lose faith and maybe sometimes even forget about them, and we just end up the year not achieving anything. So with this in mind, I will be taking you along for a planning session with my goals for the year and how to set goals and actually achieve them, so that by the end of the year you look back and have a feeling of achievement and accomplishment which will have a positive effect on your mental health and also will serve as a positive motivation to set your goals for the following year. You will need pen, paper and of course a nice cup of coffee of your choice. Start by placing your coffee on the paper and draw a circumference. If you're good enough, you can do it by yourself, but that is not my case. Be careful not to spill any coffee on your paper. We then divide the circle into slices of pizza and we write certain categories. This is what we call the Wheel of Life. The Wheel of Life is a tool that helps you take a 360 look at your current life situation. In this case, at your current goal situation. You can choose the categories you want but I will go for the following. Financial and career, mental health, education, physical health, and creativity. Feel free to pause the video as you go along or just take screenshots. You can also just Google some life categories and use those, but it always depends on what suits you and what the best is for your situation and what you want to put emphasis on. Once you write the categories, just write down a few big goals for each category. And if you have a clear reason why you want to achieve the goal, write it down as well. This will help you have the end goal in mind. Having a clear why is always key when setting goals or even starting something new. Whether that is going to the gym or actually starting a business, just remember why you do it. I'm not going to bore you with a lot of my big goals for each of the categories, but I will tell you my biggest goal for the next year for each category, so you can draw some inspiration. For financial and career, I just to save more money because I need a bigger cushion, just that's my why. For mental health, I want to meditate more because it helps me manage anxiety and stress. For education, I want to become a coach because I want to help people and make mental health more accessible to everyone. For physical health, I want to go more to the gym to actually get the body I want. For creativity, I just put post more videos because it's fun. Now that we have our goals, let's take a look at how we can achieve them. Start by getting clear on your goals. This can be the most crucial thing you can do. Because we usually set goals, but we just say, I want to save money, I want to lose weight, I want to read more. But how much money do you want to save? How much weight do you want to lose? How much more do you want to read? If it's something you can measure, do so. And set it as your end goal. Whether that is saving $10,000 next year or losing 5 kilograms, or reading two books a month. The more specific you are with your goals, the easier it will be for you to achieve it. So let me show you an example. For me, I want to go more to the gym. That will be that I want to go three times a week to the gym. I also want to save more money, which will become I want to save $10,000 by the end of the year. You get my point. So now you have your end goal in mind, you need to break it into even smaller goals. Think of it of how much you need to save this quarter, or how much do you need to save each month, how much do you need to save each week. Now for example, if you want to read 54 books in the next year, that would be 4 books a month, 1 book a week and around 60 pages a day, depending on how big those books are. So you get the point, the smaller you break your goal, the easier it will be to achieve them and the more measurable they will become. If it feels unachievable just because one book a week is maybe too much, maybe go back to step one and reconsider reading 54 books in the next year, make it 20. This serves to see how achievable your goals will become. The next step involves creating checkpoints. I will do this on a quarterly basis, that is to say every three months. So create your quarterly goals based on your yearly goals. For example, create some sort of deadline. This will create a sense of urgency for you, which will help you when you're trying to achieve your goals. This will help you remember your whys, your goals, and you're not going to feel stressed or overwhelmed when at the end of the year, you still have a lot to achieve. So let's go back to my example of reading. 
if you want to read how many books should you have by this quarter if you want to go more to the gym how many gym sessions what will you be doing each quarter maybe during summer you want to do more sports outside but during winter you want to do more sports inside and also taking into consideration your environment and situations will help you actually achieve your goals and have a successful year. Instead of looking at your goals and say, I still have time to achieve them, trying to make the deadlines shorter will help you stay in track with the goals you're challenging yourself to. This is how I set my goals and how you could start setting goals and applying it to your life. This not only applies to your yearly goals, but you can do it with everything. If you follow these steps of making big goals and making them smaller and smaller, you will start feeling more achieved throughout your life. Feel free to apply this to any other area of your life which also works with goal setting. Now, something that helps me a lot is booking a self-checking. So every three months, I book a day and then I just look into my goals. Okay, how far am I? What do I need to change? What do I need to keep on doing? What can I improve? What can I not improve? This way, I know what I need to change for the upcoming period. I hope you achieve your goals and whatever ambitions you have for the next year. And remember to think of the long-term goals and not just the short-term will make you more happy and intentional on your life. Let me know in the comments down below which is your biggest goal and ambition for the next year. Hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe.